He's he's restoring our homes. Yeah. He's restoring our homes. And the this whole thing about Sabbath, you know, I think we would all agree that in our culture here in the West, mm-hmm. the huge frontal attack has been against our homes mm-hmm. for decades and probably two generations. Yeah. There's a the the tearing down of the home, the the single family home, uh, the single parent home, right? And um, and Sabbath, I really believe, Brandon was instituted by God. It was the anti culture, the um, it, it was the fail safe for the destruction of our homes because mm. every seven days. You were, it was a commandment. It wasn't a suggestion. Yeah. Every seven days. Why? Dad did it. His son did it. We do it. You know, that's Lador Vador in the Jewish community from generation to generation. And if there's anything I think that I've heard in my brief 70 years on this planet, that's the one comment about the Jewish community that everyone everywhere admires is the solidity of the home. It's the context of the home, the love of the home. They're they're tight. You know, it's Moskowitz and Sons. It's Goldberg and Goldberg. You know, it's like, man, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna stand against one, you get the whole tent comes after you. Yeah. And there's this thing about Sabbath where every seven days you there's it was a commandment. You stop. You don't work anymore. You close the shop, you come in, you close the door, mama lights the candles that separates it as holy unto the Lord. She invites the presence, and then we thank God for the bread and the wine or the cup. If we have um, Baptists listening, sorry, I meant cup. I did say wine, but I, I meant cup. And, um, and so we, we thank him for his provision. We lay hands on our kids. Uh, in a way that's good for them, mm-hmm. and and we pray for each other, and and then we spend the next twenty four hours uh, enjoying His presence, not doing the normal stuff, um, and and this has been a pattern for thousands of years, that I think is one of the great things that has preserved the Jewish community. Obviously, it's the presence of God, yeah. His promises, His covenants. Jeremiah 31, as long as there's a sun, moon, and stars, I, I, I get it. But the, the walking in his ways, what did Moses ask the Lord on top of Mount Sinai? Teach me your ways. Yeah. And, and we've been so busy as a, as a church, as a body, you know, inventing our, our own things, doing our own thing, going our own way. What's, what's the next wave? And, and he has built into his kingdom and his kids this pattern that we, he's restoring now. So, so get this. Uh, instead of, now we're part of, as I said, this, you know, celebration. You've been here many times. 3,500 seat auditorium, which is not mega huge. Sure. Um, but it's pretty good size yeah. with a church attendance of 12,000 here in Jacksonville uh, in a week. So instead of 12,000 people coming to one huge building for an hour and a half a week, mm-hmm. we now have 7,500 homes mm-hmm worshiping the lord all over the city wow 24 7 wow and what's happening in those homes they are seeing their neighbors saved wow they are seeing their jewish neighbors interested in really you're you're from louisiana why do you why do you that's our sabbath why are you why do you do this nathan has a a neighbor a guy raised orthodox and his wife and and asked us to come and do Sabbath in his home. Mm. And after we did that, he said to me, he said, Paul, 
would you come back? This is the first time I'd spend any time with this guy. Would you come back, bring your Bible, and show me Messiah in our Torah? Because I think you know what you're talking about. Wow. So instead of one building where you try to get everybody to come in once or twice a week, right. we now have 7,500 homes all across the city that are singing the same songs. Wow. They're hearing the same messages. They're loving their families. They're figuring out how to be priests in their homes.